Hello my soccer universe for another slightly different video. I have had a few collaborations with fellow collectors as of late uh, and this one is completely something new that uh, A from what had happened and the way the video will be going and a little bit more on that in a little bit. Uh, again Ukraine jersey up there in support of uh, Ukraine and making people aware that there is some uh, SHIT going on there. And yeah, I also unfortunately I have been catching a pretty bad cold, so this might be the last video for this week. I better uh, take it easy. And uh, so probably for the rest of, of the week, I won't do uh, a video anymore, but you know, so be it. In any case, so let me tell you. So uh, this, video is in collaboration uh, with Matt from Shirts Off to Dementia on his Instagram page. As I said, he's a fellow collector. He has, he um, shows off his shirts quite nicely. Uh, and as far, uh, he even told me he uh, used to do a video, ch uh, a YouTube channel as well, but it was not shirt related. So I'm going to link uh, his Instagram account because he has really some nice shirts in there. And you may know him from my channel because he sent me this uh, Gillingham uh, shirt uh, last year and I linked the video up here as well so uh, that everything's done. And uh, I gotta say the shirt, uh, I know it's an away jersey but it's a quick favorite of my girls because of not only is the horse there but there's also on the tail of the shirt there is a horse which they really really like a lot. So what's this video about? Um, he contacted me uh, at the beginning of February, I would I want to say, and Mola said, do you want to do something different? I can give you a challenge. And I think he told, he told me he has done the same to Dan from Club Football Shirts. I give you a challenge and a budget because he wants to do a mystery box, but he doesn't want to go for a regular mystery box. He wants to have a little bit of control to make it fun. He reaches out to fellow collectors and uh, challenges them to find him a shirt with given parameters. Um, so I accepted the challenge, had a lot of fun look, looking out for. I gotta say that uh, the budget was maybe due to shipping a little bit tighter than probably it should have, it should have, could, could, could have been. But the problem is he's in England, I'm in Austria and shipping unfortunately takes care uh, of a good portion of the budget but I still I managed to get him what I think is a really really nice shirt and one that I also have in my collection though not to the exact specification there and then to top it off he also agreed to or he offered and I said yeah this is really nice if you do that I was not expecting this but I think it's a nice uh, touch to he uh, agreed to shoot himself opening the shirt and then send me the video so that I can post it on my YouTube. So that's pretty cool. Um, I don't want to introduce him uh, too much more because I don't want the video to become too redundant because he did a really good job of introducing himself and telling you all the parameters on that. So I think I hand it over to Matt and I will see you on the other side. Hi guys, uh, it's Matthew here. Uh, Instagram shirts off to dementia. Um, Great to be part of this video today. I'm really excited by what's going to happen this morning. Um, if you haven't followed me, head over to Instagram and Twitter, Shirts Off To Dementia. I'm a shirt collector myself, but in my spare time, what I try and do is raise money for a really good cause that's close to my heart, Alzheimer's research. So I resell shirts, uh, whether they've been donated or shirts from my collection that I no longer want, and all the proceeds go to dementia. So, big up. So I reached out to a couple of uh, YouTube uh, friends recently and today I've got a, a surprise package that's coming all the way from Austria, which I'm really excited about, from Roland at MySock Universe. So um, obviously, thank you very much to Roland for agreeing to take part in this. So the challenge I set him was I gave him a budget of 40 British pounds uh, plus postage. I said I wanted an extra large shirt. Uh, I didn't want a national shirt, I wanted a club shirt. Not one colour, multiple colours. Uh, ideally uh, with a sponsor. Didn't really stipulate, you know, new, used, good, excellent condition, you know, irrelevant. Also had to be greater than the year 2005. And the big one, 
I wanted it to come from a country that was either French or German speaking. Wow. So Roland came back and went, hey, that sounds like a really good idea. Leave it with me. And I think within 24 hours, he came back to me and said, I've had so much fun doing this. Found something for you. Going to sort it out. So here we are. Here's the package. I have no idea what is in here whatsoever. Um, and hopefully, hopefully, he's going to have hit the brief um, completely. So let's have a look. There's a nice letter which we will uh, look at in a minute. Oh, interesting. Now, um, I'm a relatively new collector, so I don't confess to have the knowledge that Roland or others have, but here we go. Look at this. Oh, now look at that. Now, I can see this is hitting the brief already, so we've got multiple colours here. Um, I think I've only got one green, and I think Real Betis is the only shirt I've got uh, in a similar pattern. Uh, I can see the word Rapid, so I guess I'm going to say it's Rapid Vienna. Um, Adidas, lovely. Um, that is stunning. That is a really stunning shirt. Um, it's in fantastic condition. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to stick this on my lovely hangy thing, and we'll have a look at it. I'm going to go and do a really quick bit of research, just like our friend Dan at Club Football Shirts does, and yeah get back to you and we'll read the letter so here we are look at that um roland you have absolutely nailed this brief this is an amazing shirt and one that i'm really pleased to add to the collection because i don't currently uh own an austrian shirt and also um actually and, and roland won't know this um probably back in the early 2000s i worked for a company and i had to travel quite regularly to vienna uh, usually around Christmas time, which was fantastic, as you can imagine. So, you know, this this is actually uh, you know, quite symbolic in the sense of I've got a close affiliation to 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 Vienna, having travelled there on numerous occasions, and it's part of my career. So, so there, look at that. That's brilliant. So I'm going to read the note. Um, so it says, Hi, Matt, your mystery shirt has arrived. The shirt I decided to send to you is the 2009-2011 SK Rapid Vienna home shirt. While I do not have much love for this team, <laughs> I do recognise and appreciate their stars as the biggest and best supported team in Austria. Also, I really like this classic looking shirt. I absolutely agree, it's a stunning shirt. In fact, I own the sponsorless long sleeve version. According to their own lofty standards, the two seasons in this shirt were not too good with rapid finishing third and fifth. And that's funny because uh, at the end of last year, I sent as a surprise to Roland a Gillingham football shirt, which is my local team here in the south of England. And I think in the letter I said, you know, the, the, the football at best is, is mediocre. In fact, as, as I speak now, they're struggling to sort of get out of the relegation zone of League One. So uh, the fan base grew dissatisfied and in May 2011 culminating in the fans storming the pitch during the Vienna derby. There's a fact. However, among Austrian collectors, the shirt is remembered as one of the best in the team's recent history. Roland, thank you. Then that forms a really nice part of my collection. So uh, thank you very much. I really hope you enjoyed it, sir. I really was initially going for a French team, but always one of the parameters didn't work out. Maybe next time. Um, same goes for the other German teams. In any case, I had fun doing this mystery shirt for you. All the best, Roland. Roland, it, it's been such fun. I know, I know we talk regularly and uh, for any of you out there, you know, there's some awesome mystery shirt companies um, out there delivering some great shirts, but I just thought this was a fun way to engage with a fellow collector who I've exchanged um, conversations with. Uh, I've, I've got another package coming shortly with another YouTuber, which I'm really excited about too. So if this is not something you've done before, maybe hook up with uh, a fellow Instagrammer, a fellow YouTuber and give it a go. All the best for your collections, guys. And Roland, thank you, mate. Talk to you soon. Okay, so I really hope you enjoyed this video. As you see, Matt is very engaging. Uh, and I'm so glad that he liked the shirt. Yes, I'm not a Rapid fan, but, you know, I also have the very same shirt. Here is the long sleeve version that I have. It's sponsorless. It is for a Rapid shirt. A really nice one. And it seemed to make sense to me. Uh, as I say, I think i have helped him 
with getting a pink Lask shirt. Uh, so he has already two Austrian shirts. And as I said, I've actually wanted to go for something French, but it was always either it's unicolored or it was an away jersey or something like that. So it all never really worked out. And then I saw this beautiful repeat jersey. And now that he himself has a connection to the city of Vienna, I think it makes it even more special to me. Again, I really hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, give me a thumbs up uh, if you did so. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos of mine and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I will wish you a wonderful day. Bye.